So good morning. Uh, we shall begin the meeting, sir. Hello, hello, sir. Good morning. Shall we start? Good morning. Shall we start, sir? Yeah, yeah, sure, ma'am. Please. Good morning, sir. Good morning from all of us. Good morning, everyone. I bring you greetings from the Greenery of Academics, and I take great pleasure in welcoming you all to the second day training program. I welcome our principal. I welcome our resource person, Dr. Pritha Pandey. I welcome the heads, the coordinators, and the faculty members of the different disciplines. As the events of the day continue to unfold, we need to seek more clarity and wisdom and peace from God. Hence, let us begin this national training program by invoking God's blessing and his guidance. Let me read from Psalm 145 a few verses which will really deliver our spirit and um, it will help us seek God more in all our endeavors. I will exalt you, my God the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. <laughs>
and production given by Dr. Sundar Nagar and your practice session was really meaningful in the afternoon. The aim of great education is not knowledge with action. And let us be reminded once again, the aim of great education is not knowledge with action. We hope that you will be richly benefited and motivated and gain your direction towards production of the contents which you have gathered over the years of experience. And uh, at this moment, let me take a uh, privilege and uh, pleasure in introducing the resource person of today's uh, training program, Dr. Muttapandi. Dr. P. Muttapandi is an assistant professor who has put in 12 years of experience and he belongs to the Department of Education, BDE, Madurai Kamaraj University. He has gained this UG and PG degree in botany and uh, later on he switched over his uh, um, attention to education and has pursued his MPhil and PhD you know, in education and uh, um, he is right now in the Department of Education. And he has guided 43 MPhil students and uh, 8 PhD students. And uh, it, is, it is really impossible to mention every single accomplishment because there are so many in number. He has so much of credentials to his resume. And however, today, you know, we are going to recognize and witness his talent and also his expertise in today's session on e-content development. He is a much sought after person for um, this e-content development in production in education technology. And he has published two books and he has edited two books and he has uh, uh, many number of papers presented to his credit in national and international conferences, 25 in national and 15 in international conference. And he has published 10 papers in the national journals and uh, five papers in the international literary journals. And he has organized five workshops on research. His specialization include educational psychology, ICT in education, statistics and research, innovation and teaching learning. And his thrust area and focus um, uh, you will find in research methodology, statistical packages in research, open educational resources, online survey, innovations in teaching learning, statistical package development through MS Excel. And uh, he holds you know, so many responsibilities you know, at the academic level. And uh, he is uh, privileged to few, which is uh, um, very prominent and uh, let, me, let me mention a few things. He is a member of the campus um, Wi-Fi committee, Kamaraj University. And he is a member of the Board of Studies of the Madurai Kamaraj University. He is a member of Indian, Indian Association for Teacher Educators. And he is a member of Annual Report Committee of the Madurai Kamaraj University. And he is a member of Inspection Committee, National Council for Teacher Education, Southern Region, Bangalore. And he is an executive member of the Society for Educational Explorations, SEE Madurai. And he is a chairperson for practical examination, coming out of Teachers Education University, Chennai. And University Observer for BN MA degree programs. And uh, he is the coordinator for BN Program Study Center of Madurai Cambridge University. And we have such an eminent person who is much sought after and uh, uh, who is. Uh, uh, a great expertise in the field of uh, e-content development and production. It is uh, such an honor to have Dr. Muttapandi on this just today, and uh, we will really be uh, enriched by his expertise. And uh, sir, we are looking forward to listen to your um, session, sir. We welcome you uh, uh, with a great heart, and uh, we look forward to listening to you. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you for your uh, wordings and um, I'm uh, really happy to be a, 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 a very less uh, a part uh, in academic activity of uh, Bishop Keeper College. Um, in those days, uh, that was my dream, uh, doing my postgraduate in Bishop Keeper College. But uh, I, I wouldn't uh, achieve that dream. Uh, because I went to, I, I got uh, admitted in uh, St. Joseph's College. That's, a, that's why I did my uh, MSc Botany at St. Joseph's College. Uh, I missed Bishop Keeper College. And uh, whenever I travel uh, uh, that that road, I uh, um, 
I, I recall my uh, dream. But thank God, now uh, uh, God has given an opportunity to meet or uh, to share uh, a few things or uh, um, regarding e-content uh, with, with the faculties of uh, Egypt Paper College. So thank you so much. Uh, for uh, for giving me giving me an opportunity to interact with, uh, with this kind of academic forum forum and uh, on the and the outset I'm, I'm very thankful to the management of uh, bishop keeper college and uh, sandil nadan sir uh, for uh, for this kind of um, good academic opportunity um so before uh, getting into the thing i think uh, i am audible and my screen also uh, uh, visible to you all i hope that Yes, sir. Everything is perfect, sir. Yeah, fine. And see, uh, today, um, most probably these three hours, uh, we are going to discuss about how a teacher or a lecturer, uh, as ourselves, how we can develop an e-content without, without going for other uh, software experts and uh, multimedia centers how a simple e-content can be developed by ourselves. That is the only objective of this session. Actually, I have planned for a demo. Um, uh, especially, we are, we are going to focus on, uh, we are going to uh, discuss about various tools, but uh, specifically, uh, we are going to give a, especially I'm going to give a demo on uh, two uh, tools, especially uh, open resources. Because uh, nowadays there are uh, a large number of open, open source uh, softwares are available in the internet. So how this kind of open source softwares, simply we call it as uh, FOSS, free and uh, open source softwares. How this kind of FOSS can be utilized uh, in the concept of uh, or in the process of e-content development. So nowadays, because of the pandemic, uh, uh, we are we are forced to create such kind of e-content. Otherwise, um, uh, in course of time, uh, this uh, concept of e-content or e-tutorial or e-modules uh, becoming the uh, trend of uh, uh, education. Okay. And uh, so in this session, um, regarding the web tools for e-content developments, uh, this, this presentation, whatever I am presenting, uh, uh, this uh, presentation normally we I call it as presentation, not PPT, because I'm not uh, uh, in this presentation I'm not using a uh, pirated version or I'm, I'm not using a uh, paid source. I'm using an open source called uh, Libre Impress, or we call it as we call it as Microsoft Office. So just like that, I'm using that Libre Office. In that Libre Office, uh, just like Microsoft PowerPoint, I'm using uh, Libre Impress software. So it is it is not a PPT, it is a presentation. So you can you can download this particular presentation in my website. And this is for uh, for the information that you need not take uh, any notes and all because you can uh, my source, my presentation is open to all and it is available in the, in the following link. That is the thing. And the main objective of this session is to enable the participants to enable our friends to develop uh, an e-content by themselves. That is the only objective of this session. And finally, uh, uh, our uh, our expectation is each one of you should develop your e-content and you have to upload in the link which will be distributed through the organizing committee members. So this is the objective. This is the input we are, we are going to provide you and we are expecting some kind of output with your, your, your side. <coughs> that is the thing. We will give you the link and you have to uh, uh, edit all the e-contents, all your videos, audios, music, everything. And you have to upload a single file in the in the given link. So that is the uh, schedule or objective of this session. And uh, so before uh, uh, getting into that, uh, we know this is the uh, classroom atmosphere of uh, yesterday's and uh, today hey classrooms in the past and present and uh, in those days most of the classrooms were under the trees whether uh, um, uh, some of us uh, some of you may not believe that i belongs to 
the first category of classroom uh, at my native village at uh, Ramanathapuram district in a government school there was no proper building and uh, now it, now there is a, there is a proper building no no doubt but in those days when i was doing my uh, school days up to first standard to fifth standard i did everything under the tree still uh, 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 if i go to my village i used to enjoy the tree the tree is there the uh, twin trees are there i used to enjoy that <clears throat> so this is the change in the classroom environment nowadays okay and uh, so before uh, getting into the session i would like to start with the proverb or quote of uh, uh, professor john dewey and a famous uh, philosopher or educationist of uh, uh, usa Uh, if we teach to today students if we teach for the present generation of students as we taught yesterday okay if we teach to today students as we taught yesterday it is nothing but we are uh, cheating them of tomorrow so this is the thing okay this is the famous quote this this, this quote is applicable for all the uh, all the period or all the generations because the like the the classroom environment or the pedagogy or the strategy of a classroom teaching learning evaluation so everything is changing day by day so in such a way we cannot teach or we should not teach as we taught yesterday to us so this is the thing and uh, no, nobody uh, uh, now the situation is like that so every of us or we are we are very busy with the technology or mobile or tab or laptop whatever may be we are all busy with even uh, taking a photograph also uh, i see the picture all the people are except the uh, uh, four fathers or four parents everybody is busy with their uh, mobile phones this is what happening nowadays and this is called as uh, uh, nomophobia so till going to the bed or otherwise we can say that till going to the uh, enter enter into the deep sleep we are all busy with mobile phones seeing whatsapp stat whatsapp messages or emails whatever may be the thing so this is what normally happening and uh, nowadays the present generation students they are lacking with extra curricular activities and uh, not only the developed countries even uh, countries like us a uh, developing country in developing country also you see there are uh, uh two four uh, six seven uh, students are uh, sitting um, in the, in the wall i think so they they never uh, look into the uh, neighboring boy or girl they are all busy with mobile phones this is what happening nowadays and this may be the dialogue between uh, a father and uh, a daughter hi hi uh, sweetie how was the school today and for that uh, question of the father that uh, uh, child is uh, replying that why do why are you asking me that you just go and uh, look it uh, look it in my block i have updated everything this is what the conversation nowadays is going on and uh, the teaching learning process was uh, in those days in teacher centered whatever the teacher says it, it it was believed because the one reason is there is no other alternate for uh, new knowledge or uh, to learn more things in those days and whatever the teacher tells if the teacher tells that the sun rises in the west it was believed it was believed blindly so yeah the sun rises in the west because my teacher told that the, the sun rises in the west but nowadays it is not like that okay nowadays the learner centered approach is being followed learner centered approach because in those days a uh, teacher was the only source but now it is not like that excuse me i will be within uh, few seconds yeah sorry for the inconvenience now the present uh, teaching learning process was 
or yes, be a learner centered because the learner is being provided with uh, quite a number of um, sources, not only web resources uh, like peer chart or uh, uh, learning management system, online learning or uh, video conferencing. So likewise, he is having digital library. This kind of um, sources are available for uh, present generation students. And we, why the technology should be enabled in our teaching learning process as well as evaluation. We are having new generation of learners and the learning environment is new. The learning environment uh, which we familiar, which we was familiar is not like today. So we, we, are, we are living in a new learning environment and uh, there are quite a number of uh, learning media to obtain new knowledge. Hence, the new generation of teachers, or the new generation of the new pedagogy, or the new methodology is uh, essential for our teaching learning process. And <clears throat> this is called as uh, e-content or module, or sometimes it is it may fill, uh, it may spell as e-module or e-tutorial, whatever may be the terminology. But this is the thing, an e-content or e-model or e-tutorial is nothing but uh, a collection of activities. Maybe activity one will be a lecturing and activity two will be some kind of a, a question and answer session. And activity three will be uh, some kind of uh, uh, providing some kind of responsibility to the learners. And activity four may be assignments and activity five may be uh, um, conducting a, a objective type test or descriptive type test like that. So assessment part. So if by collecting all the activities, we call it as a module. Okay, this is the concept of e-content or uh, module. E-content is nothing but the combination of these four things like uh, video, audio, <coughs> image or text. Okay, the combination of these four things. And here in this session, we are going to uh, look into that, how this video, audio, text, images can be incorporated or can be uh, uh, edited. This is the objective of this uh, one uh, three hours session. And uh, these are all the softwares available for e-content development, or uh, maybe we can call it as a video editing or something. Uh, these are all the, Proprietary softwares like uh, paid softwares for especially for Windows, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro is there, Adobe Premiere Element is there, uh, MOV, uh, AVA video editor is there. So the, the whatever I have mentioned in red color, these are all uh, uh, proprietary softwares or uh, paid software. This is not an open source software. We have to pay some amount and we have to get the license from them and we can use this kind of softwares. What I have mentioned in green color, these are all the open source softwares. Okay, free and the open source softwares, which we need not pay money for them. We can download from the internet and we can make use of it. Nobody is going to uh, question us whether you have purchased or uh, is it a original software or is it a pirated software? No issue, no question because it is an open source. Uh, it will be available. It, it is available in the internet and you can download and you can install and you can work on it. There is no uh, uh, expiry date for the software. And uh, most of the time, the watermark will not be uh, in your video or, uh, or uh, uh, text or something. Because in, in some cases, if you are using some, some kind of uh, um, uh, free softwares, what will be that after uh, uh, editing or after doing something, their uh, uh, logo watermark will be in the in the maybe in the middle or in the uh, top or bottom or somewhere else. But here, in case of open source softwares, we need not worry about the watermark. It will not be in the in the screen. Okay, that is the benefit of this open open source softwares. And here in this session, we are going we are going to focus on this uh, uh, open shot, this particular software. We can go for KDN Live or Shortcut, whatever may be. But here we are going to focus on this uh, open short software, um, yeah, yeah, open source, uh, free and open source software, which can be downloaded from the internet and it can be installed. This is the thing. And this is the utilization of open sources. 
okay so utilization of open sources here are uh, the few links i have given um, for example instead of if you are using microsoft office uh, original version it is well and good uh, in my sense most of us may not have a original version of microsoft office uh if you are using a pirated version of microsoft office this is my request uh, instead of using a pirated version of microsoft office or microsoft uh, uh, windows we can go for uh, an, a good alternative for microsoft office is libre office or open office or star office these are all the softwares are available in the uh, in the open source in the internet okay you can download this uh, software and you can download the software and uh, you can install the software and you can make use of it so just like that this is the software i am using it is a libre office it is a friendly request uh, since it is open source uh, you, if you are uh, interested in using open source softwares you just download this libre office and you can install in your system and this is a libre uh, impress it is al almost equal to uh, microsoft powerpoint and this is the way this is the libre office you can go for libre writer this is a an alternative a good alternative of uh, microsoft word this is a libre writer okay see when while we are creating an e content uh, we should be very cautious about the uh, this kind of uh, uh, piracy and other things okay licensing things if because we are going to uh, disseminate the e content among our students or uh, in a um, uh, in a internet we are going to disseminate we, we are going to display or we are going to uh, provide through internet so it we should be very cautious about uh, the licensing or whether it is pirated uh, whether we, we the software which we are going to use is pirated or uh, it is open source software okay so in such a way uh, you can uh, go to this uh, uh, google or uh, you can go to libre office you can type Lib libre office and uh, libre office download so this is advertisement okay uh, this is a libre office you can go go to the website you can uh, download the latest version of libre office you can go to this download uh, download libre office you can download whether it is 64 bit or uh, 32 bit uh, according to uh, your operating system okay if somebody is having 32 bit operating system this is the way to find out whether my system my operating system is 32 bit or 64 bit you just uh, right click that this pc or my computer in our system and you go you click properties here you can you can find out whether the operating system is 64 bit or 30, 32 bit operating system my system is uh, 30, 30, uh, 64 bit it is not a 32 bit so so accordingly if your uh, system is 32 bit you can download uh, for uh, 32 bit also windows 32 bit mine is 64 bit I, so i am selecting windows 64 bit and you uh, you can click the download so uh, maybe it will it will be around uh, 200 uh, mb or something you can download and uh, you can you can install so there are large number of versions in libre office so because we are we are going to use in e content development sometime we may use a presentation okay since we are familiar with the ppt and all we may use presentation in such time uh, using a pirated software see it is good if you are using a original version of microsoft office it is welcome it is good it is a good thing but otherwise, if we doesn't have a, a original version of Microsoft Office, it is better to download this kind of open source softwares like LibreOffice or Star Office or uh, uh, maybe uh, Open Office like things. Okay, so you can download and you can make it, make use of it. So just like Microsoft Office, it is having all the uh, thing like uh, Microsoft. This is the Excel like thing, uh, uh, LibreOffice Calc. It is uh, equal to Excel everything will be the same for example if you are uh, if you are trying to find out some uh, uh, standard deviation for a particular uh, a particular set of number this is an example okay so whatever the formula we are we are we are uh, following in excel uh, here also we are we are follow we are we are following the same thing so if you want to find out the standard deviation of this uh, 
this particular numbers what we can do is uh, uh, standard deviation this is the formula we can go for a1 colon a15 like we can and this is the standard deviation this is the formula where uh, we are following in excel so likewise mean median mode uh, t test anova chi square or everything can be possible in uh, uh, we need not go for uh, uh, paid softwares like SPSS or uh, uh, costly softwares. We can do everything in this LibreOffice or uh, micro, Microsoft Excel. So it can be. So likewise, uh, uh, it is available with, um, uh, this is Word and this is like uh, CorelDRAW like, uh, this is uh, um, like database, uh, LibreOffice uh, database is there. This is the Impress. We can make use of this. We can make use of this kind of open source softwares in our e-content. So this is the uh, templates. Uh, we can move to, move to this kind of template and everything, whatever we are doing with the Microsoft uh, PowerPoint, we can do with uh, this uh, Microsoft, that LibreOffice Impress also. And uh, some of us may have the question that uh, if I, 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 if I am familiar with, or if I am using LibreOffice, whether the file uh, which is being created by LibreOffice can be opened by Microsoft Office or not. Okay, it can be. The file which is being created through LibreOffice can be accessed through Microsoft Office also. And at the same time, vice versa, the file which is being created, maybe PPT or uh, document file or Excel file, whatever may be the thing, the file which is being developed or created by Microsoft Office can also be accessed through LibreOffice also. So the file compa compatibility is, is good. So in such a case, we can make use of this. So uh, the, the whole session will be focused on open source software, how the e-content can be developed through open source software. That will be my focus. Okay. Even uh, you, you may have some trial versions, you may have some uh, very uh, easy uh, very user friendly uh, uh, pirated versions. Okay, you may have, you may familiar. But thing is, when we are going to disseminate the knowledge in the uh, in the open platform, we have to be very cautious about the uh, licensing of the product. Okay, not only the uh, product, even what are the tools we are we are going to use that should be uh, uh, kept in knowledge. So these are all the uh, open source. Uh, for uh, LibreOffice or open source things, or otherwise, this is like uh, uh, like uh, there is a uh, operating there is a uh, software called uh, OBS Studio. I think the font size is different. Uh, this is OBS Studio. We can go for uh, OBS Studio. We can download. I, I'll explain how the OBS Studio can be utilized in our e-content development or uh, simply how, uh, along with the presentation, a PPT, how a lecture can be recorded, or uh, how the same lectures can be uh, uploaded in your YouTube or uh, in your uh, website that we will discuss. Likewise, this is for OBS Studio, and this is for OP OpenShot, or this is for audio Audacity for audio editing, and this is Shortcut, another open source software for video editing purpose. Otherwise, you can visit my website uh, and you can download. Uh, I have given the link for some open source software. You can go to my website and you can download the open source software and uh, you can make use of that. You are most welcome. And my website is uh, it's, it's an open source uh, uh, website. You can access all my presentations, whatever I have developed. So this is the thing. And uh, this is about uh, how we are utilizing uh, the open sources. Uh, since we are all from uh, Tamil Nadu, we know this Thirukural, uh, uh, I think, in, in a well man. Iniya Gulavaga Inada Kural Kani Irupa Kai Kavardat. So we know the meaning. Hmm. So Naraya uh, Sandosam uh, Dirti Alki Kudia Vartagal Naraya Hitra Podhuda, Namatavarana Vartagala Pine Bertu. Adi Madri Naraya Palutta Kaninda Palangal Yundalam Kuda. Uh, so we have the source, we have the open source. N number of source, quite number, large number of sources are available in open platform. 
you can download uh, we can make use of that maybe initially we may feel a little little uh, difficulties so for example if you are using a libre uh, impress okay libre impress if you want to uh, hyperlink something or if you want to do something if, if you don't know you just please go to youtube and uh, this is a learning by doing or learning by experiencing or learning by googling or learning by youtube and you just type how to uh, hyperlink or how to hide a slide in libre office you can go that is a, a libre office it will give you a demo they will give you a, a video insert hyperlink in libre office okay insert a uh, in, uh, how it can, it can be done in the libre office word that is writer or uh, call or impress so it will give you the video and you can learn things and you can implement in the your presentation so this is what my focus uh, nowadays we are utilizing your open source in a, in a different manner okay so this is the thing and uh, oer oer is nothing but uh, um, your open educational resource uh, which is mainly used for uh, free and openly licensed educational materials that can be used for teaching learning research and other purposes so this is called as uh, oer oer and the, this oer or or nothing but um, um, a, a digitalized material uh, which is freely and openly for educators students or self learners uh, to use or reuse for our uh, teaching learning process so this is this is about uh, oer it is a digitalized materials offered freely and openly for uh, maybe the teacher educators uh, students or uh, self learners uh, to use and reuse for teaching learning and research purpose so this is about oer and uh, these are all the five hours of oer and uh, uh, one is uh, retime and the second one is reuse and the third one is revise fourth one is remix and the fifth one is redistribute okay since it is a digital material we can retain with the, with us for a long time no doubt and we can reuse the same and we can revise the content okay and we, we can uh, and we can remix we can uh, change this part one and we can uh, replace another uh, part one something and we can share the content with our friends and uh, with our uh, student community in a different as maybe through social media or through website whatever may be the thing so this can be done these are all the five hours of oer and uh, see we, we are in this session actually my my approach will be participatory approach uh, the, whoever installed the open source software while i am giving you a demo you can work parallelly you are most welcome because when i explain the things uh, you may feel that okay okay this is good this is uh, uh, clear this is clear but while you are uh, uh, working uh, you may find some uh, difficulty okay so that's the reason why i just uh, request the participants uh, to work parallelly uh, along with my uh, demo because if i tell uh, you and you may forget if i if i teach you and sometimes you 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 people simply you will learn that is the thing just like we we don't learn to walk okay well, when when while we are learning to walk we never trying to follow the rules but we learn by doing or with so many uh, fallings and failings so according to this richard branson this is this is what we are uh, uh, why we are focusing this participatory approach while we are participating in the thing uh it will go to the long term memory easily okay that is a, that is a my request and uh, here is uh, some uh, tool that how the uh, youtube videos can be saved this is one kind of things because in in technology uh, for a single uh, purpose there may be a large number of uh, procedures for example if you want to uh, open a file in microsoft word somebody may what what they will do they some some people will go that file and open and some some people may go for uh, control uh, o or something 
and uh, some people may go for uh, my computer and they'll go a particular file destination and they'll right click the file and open with uh, microsoft word so this is the way there, there are there will be lot there will be quite number of uh, procedures or ways to achieve one thing so likewise uh, if you want to download a, a youtube video uh, what you can do is uh, you can do uh, this thing you can uh, go to this youtube.com this is one way because this way you need not download any software like uh, youtube download downloader and thing likewise i am just putting teaching mathematics teaching mathematics okay and uh, th this is a video i would like to download in your education trigonometry plays a very important part in okay. math so this is a video while I, while it, it is play, playing you just double click in the address bar okay you just double click and you put two yes 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 in between the dot and y okay in between the dot and y and you press enter okay so what will ultimately it will give you a link to download the particular video okay you can download with various maybe mp4 format or web, uh, maybe webm format whatever the format you would like you can download you just by clicking the download you can download the particular video in your education yeah. Otherwise, trigonometry plays a very important part in mathematics I believe can, uh, me it's my, uh, for our the base of it has uh, its own importance save in the if you understand well today okay i'm just saving it is uh, it comes around 68 mb so uh, it is downloaded now the video is uh, with us okay in the desktop we can make use of that video uh, for uh, for some other purposes if needed okay now uh, it can be played. Maybe we can go for open with our VLC media player or whatever may be there. Because normally this uh, MP4 format uh, of video. In your education. So now it is not. Trigonometry plays video. a very important is, part in mathematics. Uh, it is playing in my, my computer. Okay. In a VLC media player. So in such a way, we can download uh, the files from YouTube. This is one thing. This is one way of downloading. Uh, YouTube files. Okay. And uh, so, Creative Commons and another problem, whether it is having license or not, we can find out. Here it will be the CC, Creative Commons symbol will be there. Sometimes it, it may not be there. So, likewise, uh, even while we are searching in uh, uh, images in uh, Google, we can filter the images. We can uh, uh, request to Google that only you provide whatever the images is having open licensing. Or otherwise, you can filter by, filter by going this uh, us usage rights. You can select only the free usage or you, you, you list all the images, whether it is having license or not. You just show or uh, you just download all the images or you just uh, display all the images like that. We can, uh, we can filter uh, the images also. This can be done in uh, Google Images. And uh, these are all the uh, few resources where we can uh, download our, our own um, uh, background music. Because in, while we are uh, uh, developing e-content, while we are while, uh, 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 displaying a title or uh, displaying uh, something, maybe e-content developed, developed by Dr. J. James Manogaran. Like that we want to put. So in such a way, uh, the simple only we cannot go for a simply text. We, we, we can provide some uh, uh, background music. So in such case, these are all the sources where you can uh, download some background music. Likewise, uh, here is the link. Uh, I, I'm just to copy the link and I, I just paste in a browser. Here is. This is uh, cinematic, uh, corporate, ambient, inspirational, motivational, uh, dramatic. So we can play and we can uh, download, free download also. Okay, so uh, 
this this can be then these are all the links where uh, you can um, you can download the musics background musics likewise this is another link okay where where you can download you can uh, play and download also by clicking here you can download like 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 what just uh, downloading So it is in the MP3 format. So I can download some uh, uh, background music. Uh, these are all the uh, only resources. There are uh, a large number of resources like uh, audio, proxy, uh, quite number of resources are there. You can uh, download the uh, background music from that. Here is the thing. You can play and you can uh, download also. <laughs> So in such a way, you can uh, download uh, the, the background music, whatever you want, uh, according to your the, the situation, the concept, uh, you can uh, download the music from the, these resources. And uh, this is one another uh, web tool called uh, zamzor.com, where you can convert uh, one kind of file, one type of file into another type of file. Sometimes we can we may con we, we would like to convert a PDF file into Word file. Or sometimes we, we, we would like to convert a PDF file into Word or Word file into PDF or a JPEG file into um, uh, JPEG file into some other uh, format of uh, image file or maybe DOCX file into DOC or XLSX file into XLS or PPTX file into PPT, whatever may be the thing. You can make use of this website <coughs> because they, once again, this is not the only source. We have a, a large number of sources. Likewise, we can go to here, okay. And we can upload a file, for example, add file. And uh, I can uh, go to here. So for example, this is a, uh, maybe, this may be my uh, uh, desktop and I'm keeping one file like, uh, uh, maybe I'm, I'm having this, this kind of file. Okay, maybe I, I can give open. And uh, I can convert into DOC or DOCX. This is a PDF file what uh, I have uploaded. And I can convert into that DOC or DOCX or uh, PPT or whatever maybe what the file you want, you can uh, convert. And finally, by clicking the convert now, it will give you the link here. Okay, you can download. You need not log in or sign up everything. You need not, uh, it is not mandatory to sign up or it, it is not mandatory to log in and other thing. You can simply download. But only thing is per day we can download uh, a few, few MBs or a few files only. Or otherwise, if you, if you go for another IP address, another system, you can download the same. You can convert the same. So this is about zamzor.com where you can uh, uh, you can convert the files from one 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 to another format so uh, dear friends uh, up to this uh, do you have any any queries or any clarification any doubt faculty members if you have any doubts you can uh, unmute and speak yeah you, you are most welcome you are just unmute and you can uh, Yeah, there is no, uh, if there is no doubt, there is two meaning. No, no, no. Yes. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah, sir, please. Sir. Yeah, please. Yes. Sir, if we are downloading some uh, uh, pictures or videos, if yeah. it is uh, copyrighted, how uh, how we know it is copyrighted? Is there any description or uh, yeah, how, um, how we can uh, identify that? But we can we can justify that uh, since it is available in Google. There is another uh, thing. Since it is available in Google, uh, we, we assume that it is there is no copyright things. 
but uh, while we are uh, uh, searching in google uh, it will give you so simply by seeing the picture alone we cannot understand that whether it is copyrighted or not but what we can do is while we are uh, searching the image we can go for a uh, filtering uh, like uh, maybe uh, i'm i'm just uh, yeah i'm putting like this okay so i'm just going to images there will be a setting uh, in that uh, setting uh, so this is uh, th there are some uh, uh, tools nearby setting there will be some tools there you can fix the size any size or large size or medium size so for example if you want to uh, use uh, uh, you want to uh, display the image in a big screen then the image should be a larger size then only it will not uh, the resolution should be high then uh, in such a time we can go for large and uh, whether it is color or black and white or transparent or a type uh, maybe clipboard or line drawing or gif file or uh, time what, what is uh, uploaded uh, past 24 hours like that and likewise there is a uh, usage rights all creative common license and uh, commercial and other licenses and this is creative common so we can go for all and uh, we can go for creative common license also and commercial also okay so this is this will give only the open source images these are all the open source images we can download and we can uh, make use of that no problem sir if we, if we use both the things there is there won't be any problem uh in the two both the yeah we can use we can use both and probably since it is available in uh, google uh, google platform uh, there won't be any pro problem but uh, again uh, it is a it is doubt there may be a problem in future but okay. if it is go for uh, open licensing images it will be better okay sir yes. so maybe add like uh, it's better that they go for creative common directly and they download the images for our presentation yeah we can download the images and we can have a outline and we can create a new new so new image all, it is better that we always go in for creative common so that we will yeah. not have any issue of copyrights yeah 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 that's correct we go for this uh, cc creative common the, there will not be any issue of uh, this copyright and uh, uh, the kind of plagiarism things will not be there hello sir hello yes hello, sir 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 uh, you you said libre office is equal to ms office yes sir which is best for uh, preparing our e content because uh, ms office is a microsoft product yeah it is owned by all of them but libre yes, office one uh i think your your uh, your uh, mic is muted uh, james sir yeah uh, now you can differentiate libre office from ms office sir uh, see both the uh, both the uh, uh, softwares are the same only thing is uh, uh, that is microsoft product and uh, this is another uh, different uh, uh, linux based operating uh, linux based product this uh, my uh, library office is available for linux operating system uh, for mac operating system as well as this windows operating system but whereas uh, we cannot make use of this microsoft uh, office in uh, libre uh, in linux <coughs> as well as in uh, mac operating system it is fixed for microsoft windows library yeah. office is competitor of ms uh, office maybe it can be it can be but uh, uh, the thing is we are we are fam very familiar with microsoft office yeah. that that's that's the reason why we are not uh, moving towards other software uh, that is the reason but things are very common uh, whatever the thing you are doing in uh, microsoft office can be done in libre office you can uh, save the file as a doc format also or uh, ppt format also or doc x format also or ppt x format also in libre office LibreOffice can support Unicode character set. Yeah, yeah, it can be. It it, it is supporting, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank it you, is sir. supporting. It is supporting, and uh, 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 even in presentation, it will give uh, uh, the different kind of template they are uh, they are giving, and even while we are uh, presenting a paper or uh, in a projecting the image, that is one aspect in uh, Libre Impress. So uh, we can uh, project the fifth slide. 
but in our in our laptop or in our desktop we can move to we can see the fourth slide as well as sixth slide which will not be projected in the screen that is another uh, special uh, 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 feature in uh, library office as a teacher we can refer the previous slide or we can refer the next slide <coughs> but it, it will not be projected in the screen likewise it is having uh, so many uh, uh, features if you are interested you just uh, install the thing and you can uh, you can uh, uh, explore explore if you if you explore you can gain more Yeah. Hello, sir. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah, please. Sir, suppose we have, if we have a mathematical equations in a PDF format, yeah. can we convert this file to a Word document using Sansa, sir? Uh, yes. Uh, the thing is, um, if it is an image file, that PDF is a image format. If it is an image format, we cannot convert into Word. But sometimes what, what the people are doing that there is an option called even in Microsoft Office, uh, there is an option called um, uh, save as PDF. Save as PDF, a, a small software for maybe even not only for Word 2007, it is available for uh, 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 other uh, Microsoft Office product also, save as PDF. If you, if you install a particular software, particular uh, software in your system, Automatically, while you are using uh, uh, Microsoft Word, this uh, one menu will be added with you. Uh, this is just this is Word file, and this is file you can uh, save as a PDF file. If the conversion from Word to PDF done by this process, even the formulas, uh, if the Word is accepting that kind of uh, uh, formulas, that font. You can uh, you can convert the PDF into Word, which can be editable. Okay, it should be. Uh, sometimes, if you are uh, you are taking a printout and you are uh, scanning the file and you are converting it as a PDF, in such case we may find some difficulty in converting PDF into Word. But if if it, the procedure which was followed to convert the Word into PDF is the same, if we convert the file. A true save us format, like like in this way, it can be converted vice versa also. No problem in uh, mathematical formula also. But provided that particular uh, uh, software like uh, Microsoft Office or LibreOffice, that should support the particular font. That's the thing. So may I know, is it the right time to break for 10 minutes and then rejoin, sir? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, shall, shall we take another two or three minutes, ma'am? Yes. Shall sir. I take another uh, three minutes? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. According yeah. to your convenience, is it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take another three to four minutes, and uh, we will go for the demo. So this is a uh, uh, this is called Zamzor.com, where you can convert your PPT file into video also. Okay, if you are uh, having a PPT file, a PowerPoint presentation, you can convert the PPT into video or uh, into images also. Okay, uh, every slide become another uh, image. And uh, this is video editing. Editing is some, uh, it's nothing but reviewing and changing your document uh, by making some addition and deletion something. Video editing is the process. So just like editing, uh, manipulating or uh, uh, rearranging, rearranging the video shots to create a new work. So there are two kinds of uh, video editing. One is linear, the linear is nothing but just be collecting the uh, video shots and placing. This is video one, this is video two, video three, video four. There's a, a simply the lecture of uh, uh, lecture, uh, Aston Professor, so and so. And this is the lecture of Aston Professor, so and so. Just we are arranging the videos, that's all. That is linear. And non linear is different. This is the uh, here only the re real uh, editing goes on. Even uh, we can change the modulation, we can uh, insert some images. Uh, we can insert some audio. So whatever the thing we can do, we can go do this kind of uh, non-linear kind of video editing. Okay. So this is a linear is a raw videos, whether the non-linear is a, a modified or edited video things. Okay. These are all the four uh, uh, major areas of video production, pre-production, production, post-production, pre post and uh, archiving. Uh, pre-production is nothing but uh, writing the script. 
I hope that uh, yesterday Sandilnathan sir may focus on how the script should be. What is the action script? And uh, what is the academic script like that uh, uh, Sandilnathan sir might have been focused by yesterday. And production is nothing but uh, recording the things. And post-production is after the recording, what we are doing, our editing, uh, adding or deleting or uh, uh, inserting or removing this kind of uh, uh, repairing works that is called a pre post production and archiving is nothing but we are uh, keeping or saving the file in a uh, thing and these are all some uh, resources for animated text like uh, maybe uh, cool cool uh, cool text.com is one one tool whether where, where we can make uh, some uh, uh, different kind of images like uh, uh, bishop keeper college maybe uh, TPJ. So uh, we, we can create a logo. Okay, so this can be uh, copied. This uh, image can be copied and we can keep it in, in our logo or uh, something. This uh, Bishop Keeper College or TPG, whatever you want, you can do uh, here in, in, this, in this way. And likewise, uh, uh, animation text uh, loading.io is that uh, where I, where you can go for an animated uh, text thing you can uh, you can uh, uh, put your your word your name and uh, okay, sorry so this is uh, another uh, another uh, source where you can put the wordings like this okay your text will be here and uh, you, you can edit like this, Bishop Keeper, College, uh, Trichy, likewise. And you can change the uh, uh, name or font size or uh, style. And finally, you can copy the image and as you format and you can place in your e-content things. So this kind of things can be done through this. And these are all some online image editors. If you are not familiar with the uh, Photoshop thing or uh, image editing, you can go to this kind of website and this is Jimp is another uh, open source software which is ultimate uh, equal to Adobe Photoshop. Jimp is open source. We can edit the images. And this is uh, these are all the animation softwares like uh, uh, Blender is there, uh, Synfix Studio is there. Uh, uh, by using this kind of software, so we can uh, uh, animate our uh, text or image or videos. Okay. And these are all the open source softwares for video editing. But here we are, we are going to focus on open shot. And this is Windows Movie Maker. Uh, Movie Maker is offering some free, but uh, with certain limitation. Uh, their logo will be there sometimes. So these are all the things. And this is the open shot. And uh, I hope that after uh, after a five to ten minutes break, we will get into open shot and we will go for a demo. Uh, shall we go for a break, ma'am? Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Last yeah, few slides. There is a chat box uh, message that we are going a little bit fast, sir. I think probably you can just uh, hint on it once again. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, screen from sharing. The animated text, from the animated text. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we will. Uh... Once we resume after the break. Okay, fine, ma'am. Fine, ma'am. Yeah, we will, we will resume. No problem. Thank you. So the time is exactly 11.34. We resume yeah. at 11.45. Sure, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.
So shall we start, sir? So shall we resume? Yeah, please, ma'am. Shall we? Shall we start? Okay, fine. I think. Uh, yeah, share my screen. So, okay, these are all the uh, some uh, uh, tools. Yeah, open source, or uh, from which we can uh, animate our uh, our own text. Like uh, this is one thing, uh, uh, loading dot io animation text. And this is another, uh, uh, another uh, one. So we have already seen that this, like uh, we can change the text like uh, uh, my e content. Okay, and uh, we can change the style or background color if you want to some uh, white background or uh, something black background. It, it, it can be created, can be modified. And uh, so these are all the width or height we can modify. And this is a font size and this is a, a text style. And uh, so uh, text color and this is a volume of color. So such things, and finally we can uh, uh, we, we can um, um, animate some text also, image file also. Like uh, we can choose file and do like this. Like this. Okay. Uh, behind our our image or logo, we can do. We can set the uh, background image as our uh, our own logo. Like we can do. So this is one tool. And uh, this is another tool which is not, um, yeah, yeah. This is uh, another uh, another uh, tool which can be created, uh, yeah, animated text like uh, this. Bishop, like. So we can change the uh, background color, font size, speed, and everything. Uh, maybe uh, the text color, animation. Um, this is bounce out. This is blink. Like likewise, we can we can change. And this is the speed of the uh, animation, font size. This is the width, the height. Uh, everything can be modified. Okay. In such a way, finally, we can save the file as a JPEG file or uh, um, whatever the GIF file or whatever the file you want, you can change it. Okay. So this is uh, this is one thing, and uh, so uh, this is about the animated text, and uh, this is about an online image editor. So simply, you can go to this. You can go to this online image editor .com and you can choose your uh, image. Can cho choose your image, and uh, you can add some text to your image, or resize, crop, or uh, rotate, or color change, border. So these are the things we can fix some photo frame to your own, uh, your own uh, uh, photos, or uh, the la landscape portrait. So in such a way, we can we can plan uh, uh, this uh, editing the image. Okay. So uh, this is uh, this is one one tool for uh, uh, editing our own image. Like uh, uh, pixelr.com is also that uh, where you can um, uh, maybe software also available and uh, online also available. Okay, so you, you can do whatever you want.
you can upload uh, your own image and you can uh, edit and you can preview your, preview your image and you, you can uh, paste it in your uh, e-content so this is one thing and uh, so we have the these are all the open source uh, animation tools um, especially that open tons and gym threat up these are all the animation tools we can uh, download and make use of these kind of uh, animated tools for animating our text and other things and these are all the open source software for video editing especially for windows operating system and this is open shot we are going to focus because this open shot is a multi platform software whether uh, we we can download open shot for windows and we can download open shot for uh, linux operating system and at the same time we can download the open shot software for uh, uh, this uh, uh, what do you call the uh, mac operating system also that's why we we call it as a uh, cross platform operating system and uh, so okay so this is uh, open shot so this is open shot it is a uh, it is a, a video editor uh, is a free and uh, open source video editor especially and uh, uh, this uh, g g u n g n u and a general public license software so nobody is have the rights to first in and these are all the uh, features of uh, open shot this is a class class platform as i have mentioned uh, uh, we can download in we can uh, download for windows we can download for linux we can download for microsoft uh, that is uh, mac operating system and uh, we can uh, create unlimited tracks see track means see for audio we we, we, we will have one track while uh, uh, when i'm i'm going for a demo you can have this so one one track will be dedicated for audio and one track will be dedicated for video and one will for image and one will for our own uh, text something and likewise we can create n number of uh, track tracks that is uh, another feature of open chart and we can uh, uh, create our own title so e content developed by uh, uh, the faculty of uh, uh bishop viper college or uh, uh, arun bala uh, chitra or something and we can edit the video and we can cut the video that is here is edit the video and we can uh, trim or slice the video we can provide some video effects animations so these are all possible in uh, uh, open shot okay this is the thing and uh, these are all the key sections uh, in open shot before that i'll i'll give you uh, i'll open the open chart and i'll explain so this is the way uh, we can go to open chart and uh, this is the way we can download the open chart just to go to google i, I hope that uh, uh, most of the participants might have already uh, downloaded the open chart and installed you just put open chart and it will give you the link like this yeah so if if the link was gone well you can uh, download the uh, software uh, by clicking that okay by clicking the, here uh, Think advertisement is there. Uh, thing is blocking. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, so from from there you can download. It is a open source, and uh, these are all the key sections in Open Shot. This is Open Open Shot software, Open Shot video editor. After installing the software, you can have this kind of link. so this is the software so these are all the sections in the software key sections in the software this is one section and this is another section i'll i'll tell you uh, what is what uh, through my presentation and uh, this is the project files area uh, show all videos audio images we can filter here this is a project files 
or we can we can call it as library uh, once we get ready with all the videos or images or audios before going to edit we have to import the source files here okay for example uh, just imagine that i have the video file in my uh, uh, in my desktop before editing we have to import all the files here like like this so this is a software uh, this is a library i have to right click the uh, right click here and import files so imagine that the, this is my uh, in the desktop i'm having uh, one uh, one video file okay so this is the way i have to import before editing before editing i have to import all the files here if it is a audio file just import we just go to, go to this so this is audio file and just open audio if you want to uh, add some images like uh, so you just to go to uh, google or uh, um, yeah so i'm just uh, searching some images and these are all the images i'm 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 going to uh, use just open new tab and you right click and uh, save image or uh, save images you just uh, go to the desktop and uh, you select the bishop um, paper college and the jpeg image okay save these are all the images you just imagine that these are all the images you are going to use in our e content development okay and right click and import files and you select the image okay so likewise you can uh, you can go for uh, uh, so many images like if you want to download this image so save images uh, as a jpeg you save that and you just uh, save images and you keep it in in your uh, in a particular folder and you, you just go to this uh, open chart and right click import files uh, uh, this is this is already imported I, by clicking the by pressing the control you can select my multiple files just like in windows thing so i just open it is imported so video audio and images so everything will be imported this is a library we call it as library this is library and uh, so another another section is uh, uh, timeline this is called as timeline uh, there will be a timing here 0.0000.15 uh, 15 seconds 20 second 30 second 40 second 1 minute 1 1 minute uh, 15 seconds like that that uh, the time scale will be there so this is called as uh, timeline where we are we, we are going to track the video file and uh, place it in the timeline whether it is audio or uh, music or image we are going to track the file from the library and uh, we are uh, uh, drop in the timeline this is called as timeline i'll i'll show in the original software so this is the timeline track 1 track 2 track 3 track 4 track 5 so this is the timeline okay so this is the timeline and this is the library and uh, uh, this is the uh, preview window so i'll i'll, I'll go to the file yes yeah this is the preview window whatever we are doing or whatever we are editing uh, it will be previewed here here itself when i will go for a demo uh, you can understand the thing this is preview by clicking here uh, we can preview the edited uh, content okay so this is preview and uh, this is called as uh, uh, export uh, video or uh, sometimes uh, or uh, compiling in different different softwares uh, it will be in different uh, the different terminology will be followed but here in open chart it is called as uh, export video exporting video so after uh, editing or after uh, adding deleting modifying we if by clicking is export it will give you a single file if I, uh, by all the combination of videos images audio it will give you the simple file single file okay so this is export where it, it is like this here is a export uh, export video button so these are all the key section 
but in in in, in this open shot uh, the every sections can be uh, uh, rearranged if if i feel that this timeline is better uh, if it is placed here i can uh, uh, i can uh, take the timeline i can take the timeline and uh, i can uh, keep the timeline uh, somewhere else maybe like here the view will be in the doubt okay so likewise i can uh, I, i i can keep the timeline wherever i want i can reduce the preview size preview window i can reduce increase the preview window likewise i can i can reduce the uh, library i can reduce this is called as uh, Uh, effect uh, section here only uh, the translation effect or uh, the fading effect will be selected this is uh, that thing okay so these are all the key sections in uh, open chart i hope uh, uh, you may be you may be familiar with this you may clear with this uh, the, the basics of open chart so with this understanding i'll uh, go to the demo this is the open chart and as you know the, i have uh, i have uh, imported all the videos what a it may be the necessary video let's imagine this is your own video okay your own video and there is another tool i'll, I'll go through that how your, your lectures can be recorded okay so here uh, we, here we are having the recorded lecture in a video format soft copy and how your your own lectures can be recorded your 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 appearance can be recorded in a open source software so this is called as uh, uh, obs studio uh, obs studio this is also a open source software okay so this software can also be downloaded from internet uh, obs studio okay this is obs studio so from here you can download Uh, for that, it will wait for uh, if you download if you if you download this installer, it does mean that <coughs> it is 64 bit. Okay, if your operating system is 64 bit, you, you just download here. Or if your the operating system is 32 bit, you just download here, and you can install the uh, OBS Studio Open Broadcaster Software Studio. Okay, so this is the Open Bro Broadcaster Software. Okay. here what what you can do is you can uh, select uh, the camera okay so this is a new one i'll go for a fresh one <coughs> okay here, here by default uh, there will be uh, scene 1 and scene 2 so uh, you just imagine this is the scene 1 okay but uh, in the scene one your video should come okay what i am going to do is uh, here uh, i am going to decide what kind of activity should be recorded so this is your screen okay this is your screen and uh, uh, you are going to keep uh, your own logo in the top okay just imagine you are you are going to keep your own logo in the top. just you you just uh likewise this is a preview window this is the audio mixer section this is the control panel and this is the source where we are going to record so this is i'm just add uh, i'm just click uh, that uh, video capture device and i'm clicking okay okay so so now the video capture won't work because uh my my video my camera okay my camera my uh, the the laptop's camera is engaged in zoom meeting with you they yeah, i am talking to you so already it is engaged with so that it, it won't appear otherwise it will appear here and you can place your own video here like uh, just like this uh, i can i can show you an example since i am in i am busy in open uh, uh, zoom meeting i am talking to you now that's why it is not uh, displayed here so this is like uh, like this okay you can keep your own video here and your you can keep your own uh, emblem here and you can keep your own uh, uh, so called powerpoint presentation here so this is the way you can uh, uh, you can uh, record uh, only 
your own lecture alone or along with ppt also you can record by using this obs studio and you can flash symbol and you can go for win, uh, window capture and it in that window capture uh, you can select which window should be maybe uh, 3f these are all the windows it already opened so obs google chrome i can hit okay so this is the uh, google chrome window i can resize the google chrome window so this is a video output this is a preview okay likewise if you want to uh, uh, provide your your own uh, institutional emblem in the top what you can do is you can plus and uh, image okay and uh, in the image you can browse the file and uh, you can uh, select the file maybe this is the file imagine and i just put okay and uh, you, you can reduce the size or increase the size and you can place wherever you want like like sun tv vijay tv something and you can place your own video here okay see this is this may be your ppt and this may be your uh, your video and this may be your logo okay by clicking start recording it will start to record uh, your presentation your logo and your uh, your uh, your video everything will will goes for example i'm just putting if i put uh, start recording now start recording okay so whatever i am speaking now it will be recorded in the screen okay just i am i am stopping <coughs> after stopping i will go to this uh, file show recordings so it will be uh, opened here so this is the file so this is the file i am just uh, playing so whatever i am speaking now it will be recorded in the screen okay just i'm i'm stop yes this is the way uh, please uh, i'll be uh, Sorry for the inconvenience. So in this way, we can uh, record our own lectures uh, by using uh, this OBS Studio, and also it is offering some uh, streaming also, live streaming also uh, uh, along with uh, YouTube. Uh, we can uh, we can stream our own lectures. Live streaming can be done uh, through YouTube or through Facebook. We can we or through through Twitter. We can um, give this uh, live streaming also can be possible here. so this is what uh, how our own lectures even if you want to your, your own lecture alone no ppt no logo it can be done so simple thing is uh, you uh, see without uh, when uh, if i am not in zoom it, it can be uh, so just video capture you remove this uh, image capture sorry uh, window capture this will gone and if you remove this image this will gone and only the uh, video capture only the Uh, so otherwise i can i can do one thing uh, now i what i can do is i can uh, we will check whether it is possible i can uh, just uh, stop video okay and now i am selecting the uh, hp video camera even though it is busy in uh, uh, in this uh, video zoom video so only video capture we can uh, keep our own uh, uh, lecture in the full screen or off the screen whatever you want you can you can keep it okay or uh, you can add some plus like uh, uh, display capture the display capture means whatever your your desktop di dis displays like the screen recording like whatever the screen appears whatever the screen uh, plays everything will be uh, uh, recorded so this is display capture that can be also uh, done through this uh, uh, obs studio okay our own lectures along with ppt along with logo or uh, along with some google chrome or uh, if, if you want to ppt you can place a ppt or if you want to keep some softwares you can keep some softwares it depends 
it is a user friendly you can go to youtube and you can you can have a, a large number of uh, tutorials regarding obs studio okay so that can be done so this is about obs studio okay and uh, moving back to our, our own uh, open shot so uh, this is open shot and this is the file menu file edit title view help and uh, these are all the, uh, as I told, these are all the uh, library and this is a timeline. Okay, this is a preview window. And before uh, getting into putting our own video, we, we used to give some uh, uh, text, no? This is so and so. Welcome to uh, Bishop Keeper College or uh, uh, e-content developed by uh, like uh, so and so, likewise. So uh, like maybe maybe at the end, we, can, we may put uh, thank you. Thank you, uh, text message, text thing. So that is called as title. Okay. So for that title, what we have to do is you just please go to title and you go for title. Title and title. Okay. And uh, these are all the different uh, kinds of uh, uh, templates, title templates. I'll choose this uh, like uh, 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 this is one, one model one design, this is uh, maybe a camera uh, design. And here is a title uh, I, have, I, I can change. Welcome to Bishop Keeper College. Likewise, if it is a single line, if you are going to give in a single line and we can choose the text color or background color, we can go for a background color as a, uh, as a white. I'm just a, 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 an example. And you go for a text color as a block. Maybe some other color. Okay. So in this way, I can uh, put a save button. Okay. This is, this is over. Okay. I can give save. Now this title will be saved here. Okay. So this is a title name one. We can just simply track the file and we can uh, drop in the uh, preview window. Okay. So this is the case. This is the title. Now I am uh, just a preview. You know, the timeline is going. The timeline or how, how long it will be. Maybe we can we may think that if it is for 30 seconds we can keep it for 30 seconds here is a seconds so it is this may be for 15 15 seconds and this may be for 30 seconds it depends okay i can keep it for uh, uh, 15 seconds so for 15 seconds it will be there and after this uh, welcome to uh, bishop keeper college trichy you may you may think of that uh, e content developed by uh, Dr. James. Okay, I can go for another title. Title. Uh, I can go for another uh, template. I can go for this template, or I can go for this template. Okay, or I can go for uh, this kind of template. So you can choose which template is is good for uh, your own your own uh, presentation. I can go for this template. Okay, this is one. Maybe. Uh, E content uh, developed by Dr. James. Okay, so I can name this maybe like this the file name, maybe the file name may, may be uh, James. Save. So it will be uh, saved in the uh, library. We can track and they keep it next to the first title. So just I'm playing. In the first title, welcome to uh, Bishop Keeper College, Trichy will be for 15 seconds. And the uh, next title uh, will be e-content developed by Dr. James. Okay, so likewise, uh, in between the uh, slide, we can uh, go for some uh, uh, transition effect also, uh, blurring effect or 
see uh, within this one one and a half hour minute we cannot explain but it is a user friendly you can uh, uh, experience by doing okay so uh, here there is no sound we can add some sound by we are already we have uh, imported some fine sound and just tracking here okay so uh, this is a sound file and we can reduce the uh, here is a sound file we can reduce the sound file so till that till this we may have a sound now you just see So we can reduce the volume also by right clicking uh, the image, by right clicking the image, we can reduce the volume uh, entire clip like uh, maybe level uh, 20 or 30. So uh, previously it was 100. Now I'm changing to 30. We just see uh, what is the difference. The sound will be uh, uh, an hour, uh, it will be less the background music. Or we can uh, uh, we can volume can be reduced up to fifteen. Okay, so this is your your title and before your lecture. These are these are the thing. Content developed by uh, so and so, and sometimes uh, you you may uh, you may fit like that. Uh, uh, like uh, another another uh, title uh, like this maybe uh, like this maybe this may be the topic maybe creativity an instrument instrument of learning Okay, so we can go for a different font or a different text color or something. I can give so topic. I can save. So here uh, the the topic will be here. The topic the text file that. So we can keep it here. Okay, and uh, so we can keep it here, and uh, our our, our uh, image file sorry background file can also be lengthened up to this. Okay, so now this is the thing. So don't uh, don't think that the spelling is uh, spelling error. Uh, what you can do is uh, you can uh, uh, you can um, uh, right click on the particular thing or uh, uh, thing and you can edit the title. Okay. So learning G, maybe A, maybe you may feel a capital letter A, so it can be saved. Okay, now automatically this title will be uh, A becomes capital letter or uh, G will be added. Okay, so in such a way we can create our own uh, our own titles. And once again, I'm telling that this is the main aim of the, this session is we we have to do our own lectures we have to do we have to develop our own e-content that is a objective that is the only objective okay and the next you imagine that the, this is the lecture your own lecture just imagine that your own lecture and just to uh, track and uh, keep it wherever you want but here the thing is uh, 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 it doesn't mean that uh, the title should be in uh, track one and the image should be in track Two and the audio should be in track three. Doesn't mean that we can keep image, yeah, audio, image or uh, video or audio or title, everything in the same track. Also, we can fix it. But the, for our purpose, for our convenience, we can. What we can do is we can rename the tracks. Like here, we can uh, rename as uh, title or text. 
for this is for our convenient text and here uh, we can uh, rename the track as uh, video okay it, it it will change as video and we can rename the uh, by right click here so i'm right clicking and rename the track like uh, audio or music or whatever you want you can uh, uh, naming that track also can be done then well, what we can do so here the text will be here and the, the, we can place the text here and the video can be maintained in this uh, track okay and sometimes uh, you may you may you may have a track like images images okay so likewise text video audio images this is for our convenience but this is not mandatory but our convenience we are we are doing this okay so now it will be like this uh, education so just imagine that after this uh, creativity an instrument for learning we will start our own lecture so dear friends uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, creativity and uh, its role in the teaching learning process like that we have to begin so in such a case we, we, we may not uh, tell that good morning good evening such things should be avoided because we don't know when the learner will uh, will go through the, our own e-content e so that it is better to avoid this kind of uh, good morning good evening and uh, good afternoon things okay so this is the thing and i'll explain how uh, uh, a yeah, 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 image can be inserted okay just imagine if this is your your video trigonometry plays a very important part in mathematics believe me it's the base of it has its own importance if you understand well today, it's going to be useful in the coming years. So give you 100% in the class and try to see what I'm giving to you. I'll be giving you ratios of trigonometry. We'll be starting with ratios of trigonometry. Right. Now, the, 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 we just imagine that we are talking about trigonometry. So, if there is any relevant images, you, you, you are having no problem. Otherwise, you go to uh, trigonometry or uh, trigonometry alone. You just imagine that this is a, your relevant image. Okay, you are going to use this image. Just right click on the save images. And you can, uh, maybe this is PNG file. Sometimes PNG file will, will be accepted also. And this is another thing, save images. This is also in PNG. Uh, save images. So in such a case, we, we have to uh, import that image files, files. Import files. And these are all the image files. Uh, OK. So I want to place uh, this image while I am telling trigonometry. OK. OK. So this is the case, just here. We'll be starting with ratios of trigonometry. See on the board what is being done. Okay, so we can uh, we can strengthen or uh, we can uh, uh, lengthen the duration by by clicking here, by tracking this. We can lengthen the duration of the particular image, and uh, so we can transform also. Transform in the sense. Uh, we can uh, see sometimes here is the empty space. No, uh, what we can do is uh, we can uh, increase the, or uh, decrease the dimension. Sometimes it may not be good, but in such a way we can uh, increase the dimension to in in the in this aspect. So now you look into that. I'll be giving you ratios of trigonometry. We'll be starting with ratios of trigonometry. See on the board what is being done. So here, uh, still I can I can I can transform to uh, uh, some like this a little bit, not uh, early. So this kind of thing. Tree. We'll be starting with ratios of trigonometry. 
see on the board what is being done. Okay, so in this way, we can add multiple images. So while he is talking about trigonometry, I can use uh, trigonometry. Uh, just talk, uh, Just imagine that he is talking about Bishop Paper College. What I can do? I can tra track the Bishop Paper College image and I can place it. That is nothing but a supporting supporting document, supporting image to enhance the uh, students' learning. That is a motto. That is a objective of uh, this kind of thing uh, to enhance the uh, uh, teachers, uh, students' learning. We are supplementing. We are providing so many images or videos other things we call it as teaching aids that is the thing so likewise it, it goes okay and if you are interested you can uh, uh, this image can be kept in a corner also sometimes you right click the image and you go for layout and uh, one by four size bottom right or bottom left of top right or top left what wherever you want okay this is in such a case, we, we can uh, plan. Go for layout and uh, bottom left. Okay, you go for uh, uh, layout and you go for bottom top right. Likewise, also you can you can plan. Now the things will be like this. Giving you ratios of trigonometry. We'll be starting with ratios of trigonometry. See on the board what is being done. So now the, the, the blackboard writing uh, may, uh, disturbs uh, uh, is being disturbed by the image. So what, what we can do is up to the blackboard writing, we can track and we can uh, reduce the length length of the image. Now you see- of trigonometry. We'll be starting with ratios of trigonometry. See on the board what is being done. Way you can go that. Just imagine that after this, uh, he, is, he is going to talk about Bishop Paper College. Okay. <sighs> the life of Bishop now, Paper what College. are ratios of trigonometry? As the name suggests, ratio with the help of two sides of a triangle, we are going to decide the angle in between it. Okay. So, in such a way, we can uh, move. From uh, from to from this to that, okay. So uh, this is the thing. Uh, this is the way we, we can uh, insert the audio, or uh, or even in audio. Sometimes what we can do is uh, while we are uh, moving towards the audio, uh, the sound the the sound will be uh, from uh, maybe at a hundred percent level. Suddenly it will goes to uh, zero. So abruptly, it will uh, uh, re reduce the volume. No. In such a case, what we can do is we can go for uh, uh, volume and the end of the clip, and we can go for end of the clip or 20 percentage. Or the entire entire uh, uh, clip will be 100 percent, and the end it will comes to uh, so 100 at the end it will comes to 20, not 100 to zero, 100 to 20, and then zero. This kind of you just see here. education okay so normally we call it we, we will start with uh, uh, dear uh, students and their participants like that so uh, this is what we are doing in in, in open shot uh, till that uh, is there any uh, question or uh, clarification because it is 12 30 and uh, there are some some effects or uh, are there to display you and before that, is there any clarification uh, sir, in this part? Sir, good afternoon. Uh, yes, sir, Ma please. This is Mahamuni. Uh, sir, can we use uh, external camera like a diesel camera? Because if you want a good quality capturing... Uh, yeah, fine, 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 fine. 
da, you, you can make, make use of that no problem if it is diesel dslr camera or uh, video video capturing device you are most welcome because in uh, in web, webcam uh, whatever the laptop is having uh, it is a vga camera okay yes. so they, its quality will be less there is no doubt but if you go for dslr camera you just shoot everything in dslr camera and save the file maybe dslr means digital you can uh, save the file and you copy the file into desktop and import the particular video file in your library this will be good sir is there any such uh, options in obs studio where we can uh, connect the uh, dslr directly into the laptop and by uh, yeah, yeah 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 it, it is there in obs studio what we can do is this is obs studio uh, this is a window capturing device you can click and you can select your your own dsl camera if if it is connected with the usb device Okay, okay, uh, if you, if you connect your dslr camera through usb uh, connection so apart from this uh, hp wide screen hd camera obs virtual camera there will be a dslr camera maybe sony or canon or nikon will be appeared here you can select it will capture the uh, video from uh, uh, the dslr alone okay it can be done sir thank you thank you so much sir hello sir this is kamala kanan Sir, yeah, please, sir. Uh, is, uh, sir, is there any possibility uh, to trim an already existing video and just try to insert in this? Hello. Yeah, yeah, it is possible, Hello? sir. I, I'll explain, sir. It is possible, sir. Okay. I'll explain. Okay. The next part will we will deal deal with that only. Okay. Sir. I'll explain. I'll explain, sir. Uh, okay. Is there any any anything yes, to this? Hello, yes, sir. Please. So your presentation is very nice, sir. Yes, sir. I have some doubt. It is yeah, please, uh, possible to create a, a video in this software. Own video in this one. You can uh, copy the video from desktop to the library. Yeah, it is yeah. This possible to create directly in this software. Yeah, it is not possible in the open shot because it is a video editing software. Uh, it mm -hmm. is not providing the video capturing. Yeah. That's why I'm telling that the you you can uh, record your own video in the OBS Studio, mm -hmm. and you can save the file there. That file can be imported here. Yeah, thank you. Sir. Yeah, because it is a video editing software. Uh, uh, it is not supporting direct import videos. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir. GPU is not there. The graphic interface is not there. The driver is absent. Where, where in in open shot or the graphic user is enabled here. Here in OBS, it is it is possible. It is a uh, uh, see. Th this is another another important thing. I, I I may I may forgot or I may I may skip. So this is a requirement because uh, Madam is talking about uh, the graphics things. So this is a requirement for. Uh, that uh, uh, paid softwares, proprietary softwares. Uh, minimum, we, we, we should have 8 GB of RAM for video editing purpose. And uh, we should have at least 16 GB of graphics card or uh, 4 GB of graphics card at least. Yeah. Here. There are a few questions. Here in, in uh, 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 softwares. This is a requirement uh, specification. This is minimum requirement. At least we should have 4 GB of uh, graphics card. Excuse me, sir. There are a few questions posted in the chat box, sir. Yeah, I, I'll go through that also. I'll go through. Yes, I'll, I, I think uh, yeah, it is visible to you also. Yeah, uh, it is possible. Why, why it is possible, I think. Uh, so if you want to uh, mix the video you are having, you want to take only the audio. So this is one option. What you can do is, uh, uh, in the video itself, there is a uh, right click. You can uh, right click, and uh, uh, there is an option called uh, 
uh, separate uh, separate audio okay separate audio so if you click on that video and there will be it will create another track for audio there you can delete the audio or you can remix the audio also this can be done that's this separate audio in that option otherwise that is another option is that you you can just uh, uh, place this uh, video here okay if you want to remove the audio you can uh, uh, keep the video here and you can right click and you can go for volume entire clip and you can go for level zero okay only audio will be there only video will be there audio will be will become muted see i'll, I'll do this level zero okay now you see there will not be audio <coughs> only video will be played okay only video will be played excuse me sir when you do like this we find in yeah. most of the videos there is no synchronization with the way we talk and the mouth lip movement yeah yes yes what can we do about it um so that can be done by 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 only by practice so it, it may not be for this case for example in such case see you are uh, maybe uh, maybe for talk it may it, it may not be fit for example uh, maybe a flowering video you are going to show so this is a video you just imagine this is a video so this is a image you know sorry already there is a background music in that uh, video so here you are going to replace the background music with your voice in such case synchronization doesn't need because in in that uh, in that video some kind of uh, background music will be well, your child when free education for life book a free coding class दोस्तों आज के वीडियो में मैं कुछ ऐसे आसान सीक्रेट टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स बताऊंगा जिससे कि आप भी अपनी लिप मूवमेंट मे नॉट नीड ऑफ दैट सिंक्रोनाइजेशन एंड ऑल बिकॉज़ इट इज इन बैकग्राउंड म्यूजिक बैकग्राउंड ऑडियो ओके या अगेन यू कैन गो टू दैट वॉल्यूम एंड यू कैन गो फॉर एंटायर आर 100% समथिंग नाउ योर फिक्स हैज इट्स ओन ऑडियो कैन बी Weird. Okay, so this is the thing, and in any other uh, clarification, ma'am or uh, friends? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll move on to the chat box. So, uh, is it possible to separate? Yeah, the same thing. Uh, text in the video as image. Yeah, we can, we can, we can have it. No problem. It is also a image like thing. Okay, how to remove watermark in videos? See, watermark in videos. See, the watermark is being given to authenticate that this video is mine and this is my own production like that. What what the thing is? We can hide the watermark with another image, a logo like thing. And sometimes what we can do is by special softwares. Uh, we can transform the thing, and uh, we can uh, a particular area can be uh, uh, colored or a different colored. Something can be done, but typically watermark cannot be removed. Uh, only thing is we can hide the watermark with another uh, image or logo. That is the thing, or we can add subtitle also. Yeah, we can add like uh, uh, like the, like here. so this is a open shot okay so if uh, so i'm going to uh, dear friends i'm going to talk about photosynthesis yeah you simply you go to title this is the simplest way you can go for different ways okay this is the simplest way and uh, uh, you can put like this maybe two line or three line uh, you can have like this or you can have like this okay or uh, like this or like this model and uh, so we can we can go for a different model so here uh, students uh, 
likewise uh, i am going to talk about so i am going to talk about uh, um, maybe creativity or uh, cyber crime something you can save and uh, you can track it here and you can uh, place it here and uh, this can be located uh, maybe by uh, by right clicking the thing and uh, um, yeah rajadurai sir you can uh, ask whatever you want okay this title subtitle may be uh, maybe placed some other uh, some other place or uh, uh, we can transform the things also okay this kind of thing right click you can transform maybe i can uh, place it uh, in the bottom or in the top yeah i can uh, by uh, clicking here i can keep the uh, subtitle here so this can be done and is there any time limits are there is no time limit we can we can go because uh, even if we, if we go for see we, we every module there is a time limit for module because we cannot go for a module should be uh, minimum 30 minutes to maximum 45 minutes if we go beyond that limit what the learners will become uh, bored get bored so if i i'm 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 just giving a demo i'm just uh, talking to you for 2 uh, hours or 3 hours it is okay if i am talking for 6 uh, hours or 8 hours you will be get bored bored that's the thing so um yes i want to display on bottom of the video good afternoon, sir but, yeah please sir sir after creating this video if we want to upload this video in the google classroom means yeah uh, due to over uh, size it's not yeah. uploading sir there is any option sir yeah yeah, yeah. i'm kp magesh for from the department yeah. of commerce uh, i'll tell you i'll tell you ma'am no no problem so there are so many open source or online things where you can uh, upload your video and you can download as a, a, a zip format zip format in that not zip format uh, reduced format compressed format likewise uh, now we are we are we are doing that uh, the compressing of uh, pdf files see you, if the pdf file is uh, 5 gb sorry 5 mb if you, you can compare us into maybe uh, 500 kb 5 mb file can be compressed into 500 kb likewise we can you can compress the video file also is some online and even in photo, even in uh, open shot we can compress i'll 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 give a uh, demo how we can be uh, compressed okay i'll finally I'll, i'll tell you how it can be compressed okay uh, because uh, finally i am going to talk about that also that's why i'm i'm skipping your your question okay so this is a, so finally after after your video uh, this is a after your your own video uh, what you can do is uh, uh, you can have a, a thanks slide thank you like okay so just imagine this is your uh, full length video i'm just uh, for our uh, understanding for our understanding i am just uh, uh, reducing the yeah by control and the scroll button we can uh, timeline can be zoom in also and this is uh, scroll control scroll okay so at the end we may provide thank you so again you go for uh, title slide and uh, you, you can go for uh, any 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 one of the template or uh, things like uh, like this uh, this is line 1 thank you it's save and this is file name 3 so i can uh, give it here and in piece of file sales also so finally it will be like this 
important. Opposite to what angle? B, that is what 90 degrees. Okay. Now, this hypothesis. So, you come with uh, 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 thank you. I think a file will have been uh, replaced somewhere. So, this is not a file, and this is the correct file. Thank you, file. And if it is text, you can keep it here also. Since it is text, angle uh, for the C, better understanding, you can. That's what theta AB becomes the opposite side, and this is play, and the part. BC becomes what the adjacent side. What about AC? It is nothing but what hypotenuse. Now this hyper. So you can uh, end with thank you, and uh, you can keep like this. So th this is what uh, uh, you see here. Also, you can uh, uh, you can drag the uh, any uh, any if you have uh, a different audio file, you can uh, have uh, some some audio file too here for this uh, uh, this thank you thing. You, it may be a it may be a different audio file or maybe a the same audio file also. B that is what ninety degrees. Okay. Now this hyper. And finally, we can acknowledge the people, or acknowledge the college, or acknowledge the people who are uh, uh, who helped uh, a lot in this uh, e-content development, or the so whatever maybe you can acknowledge the things. Uh, uh, these these things can also be <coughs> done, and you can have some effect also for this particular thing. Uh, we can go for uh, fading effect, maybe entire clip, or uh, uh, fading slow, fast. You just uh, fade in. Uh, yeah, in and out. This is one thing. This is what 90 degrees. Okay. This now this hyper hyper point. Now see the difference. That's opposite to what angle B. That is what 90 degrees. Okay. Now this hyper. This is fed out. Okay. So not only this, there are a uh, 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 number of uh, effects like uh, anime this option is that entire clip or uh, maybe uh, center to edge or edge to center or left to center you can do that see this is an example uh, you can explore on this hyper Left to right, and finally, this fade out option also the fad, fad, fading out uh, effect also enabled. Okay, this is fading effect. Okay, so this is the thing. So, in such a way, we can uh, create a e content that the, your role is uh, in between your lecture, whatever, wherever the uh, supporting aid is required. Okay, wherever the supporting. Uh, aid is required, whether it may be image or it may be uh, something else. So that should be uh, collected by you and uh, that should be uh, imported there. And uh, that is the main thing. Okay. So this is the case. Yes. Anything else at, uh, till now, till this? Till this, anything now? Anything else, sir, to be shared or asked or uh, uh, complimented or something? 
uh, is there any option to reduce background noise yeah uh, there is an option uh, there is an option uh, to reduce the noise but not uh, here in this software maybe uh, there is a software called audacity whatever the top uh, software i am talking is open source software okay maybe some some of us may feel that this is a outdated software like our old software no problem see this open source means if uh, every day it will be updated okay see that that's, that kind of noise can be reduced or edited in in this software so i am just opening a open a uh, music file or a sound file and by going the desktop and i am choosing uh, p Bishop uh, Keeper College, and imagine that this is my audio file. Okay, so this is a, I'm playing. Uh, this is the uh, right, this is the stereo file. Oh, left and right will be there. Okay, there there will be a tools option. Uh, oh, sorry, there is not that is not tools. I think yeah. Uh, uh in the effect there will be an uh, uh called a noise reduction so if you go for this noise reduction op option the additional noise will be reduced somewhat okay so this can be done and another another thing like uh, see immediately that if you are putting some uh, audio uh, if the sound from 100 to 0 it will not, it will it will not be good so it should be go with 100 uh, at the end of the music file 100 90 80 sorry 90 80 70 60 and if it should come to zero then only it will be uh, a good good thing so in such case what we can do is this is a imagine that this is an audio file okay and uh, there is a uh, option called um, the, here is the option called uh, envelope so this envelope tool means that see once I click the envelope, this is a normal uh, normal cursor. Okay, this is a normal cursor, and uh, if I click the envelope, it becomes this like what we can reduce the particular place and and increase and increase, and I can reduce here. I can reduce here like this. So uh, now, uh, now I can play. Slightly, it will go to zero, and then uh, it can be increased. It is up to us. We can stop, and we can go for this. We can do the things. Okay. So this can be done by using this audacity. It can be done, and Audacity is having another another features also. So many features also. There is no doubt about that. Okay. So now I'll move on to how a video can be split into so many parts. That is uh, cutting the video. Okay. Video cut. How it can be done in, in a simple way. So you just imagine that this is a, this is your own video, and uh, you don't want uh, some part you don't want. Okay. So what you can do that you can simply right click on the file, the imported file in the library and you can go for a split clip. Okay. And by playing, you have to select the start in your education. Uh, starting place. Trigonometry plays a very important part in mathematics. Just imagine this is the part. This is the place where you, you want to start your. Uh, As the name suggests start. ratio. Okay. And just play. With the help of two sides of a triangle, and you, we are going to the decide the angle. I, I, I imagine that this is enough for me. Okay. And you give the uh, uh, first cut name for the particular file. Create. 
once it is uh, created so here it will be a first cut file so if you play this file uh, it will be like this only the epic with the help of two sides of a triangle we are going to decide the angle in between it it's not clear right now you can understand when i do on the board yeah this is one way i am just delete first of all there are so many ways for example this is the video the side opposite to the okay. taken angle that is what i want see this part. theta just imagine i don't want this particular 2 seconds or 3 seconds what you can do is you can click this scissors tool or uh, uh what do you call the razor tool the scissors tool and you just click here it will become two things and you just click here it becomes three things and you just four and if you if you don't want need if you don't want this you just uh, uh, unselect the scissor and you select the mouse and you can get it okay this can be done and vice versa control e z you, you can uh, move back okay so this this can be done so in such a way this is one way to uh, uh, cut the clip there are, there are another way also even to import the file there will be so many ways for example if you want to import files by right click here you can import or what you can do is you can go to file and you can go for import files this also can be done okay these are all the ways to import the files or otherwise you can click this plus symbol and you can import the files so there are three ways one is by right clicking here you can import files and go to file and import files and another way is you can click the plus symbol and uh, you can uh, import the files this also can be done okay so this is the, these are all the ways you can do the things and uh, finally what we have to do is we have to export the file okay so uh, now we are all the editing has over thing that uh, when you are going for a large hall event you have to avoid this kind of white color uh, background uh, it will irritate the audience okay so i am just uh, text color i am go for black sorry text color i may go for uh, uh, white and the background color uh, i may go for black in a large hall events it depends there is a coloring sense also there and even uh, the text we can add some effects like uh, right click in the text and uh, we can go for some animate uh, entire clip uh, zoom from uh, 75 to 100 or 100 to 75 it depends or 50 to 100 you just uh, you just see the difference effect to the second uh, text animate entire clip maybe edge to edge or uh, zoom zoom random edge to center center to edge and uh, so if there is any anything in the chat box uh, just click open which is available the file available alone can open always select new project files create using your camera yeah yeah how to use my ppt in this one yeah this is a good good question how to use my ppt in this one uh, what we can do is in ppt uh we can convert uh, each and every slide into image okay we can convert each and every slide into image 
and that image can be placed in the uh, image uh, uh, track image one image two and we can decide how long that image duration should be there as per our uh, uh, lectures we can fix the duration of the particular uh, slide one image so likewise we can place slide one slide two slide three images also this is one way <laughs> or another way there are some some other ways also you can uh, uh, you can uh, uh, go for a full screen of the slide and uh, you can have a print screen in your just uh, below, above the backspace there is a print screen and if you click the print print screen it will copy the image and you can go to any any photo photo editing uh, 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 software or photoshop or gimp or something uh, you can uh, paste there and you can convert the particular image particular slide into a yeah, image file so this is photoshop and I, I i just file a new okay i can paste the particular uh, slide and this will be a image one okay good that's a case we, uh, such a way we can create the things okay so we have done everything okay we have done everything we have, we have reduced the volume we have mixed uh, new animations or effects see whatever I, I have i have shared with you is maybe one percent or two percent of uh, open shot okay the remaining 98 percent you have to explore okay by going to the uh, tutorials if it is a hands-on experience or hands-on session live sessions it will be better but uh, uh, we are uh, in this pandemic situation we are away uh, we are away from uh, us So I have explained only two to three percentage. So uh, remaining ninety-seven to ninety-eight percentage, you have to export. Okay. So uh, uh, finally, we have to uh, export the single file. Okay. This is the way we have to export the single file. So without uh, degrading the quality of the content. So we have to reduce. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, if, if you if you uh, very particular about the quality, then you go for the file size mode. Okay, one is uh, quality. So this is a direct relation. If the quality is more, ultimately the file size will go more, no doubt. Okay, and this is a thing how uh, final export can be done. This is the export button. I just clicking. Okay, this is the maybe uh, demo project. and uh, where should be stored the particular file okay maybe i'm giving in the uh, desktop or uh, maybe uh, bishop paper college folder the file folder okay select folder in the uh, uh, desktop bishop paper college folder and uh, these are all the things uh, uh, profile maybe in uh, uh, Blu-ray or DVD device or web, what kind of uh, uh, profile, profile, in the uh, what kind of uh, platform we are going to use. Okay, that is uh, the DVD or device, web, right. And this is the format default. By default, it will uh, it will place in MP4 because this MP4 format is uh, uh, can be accepted for uh, uh, all the softwares. Maybe VLC player or Windows Movie Maker or Windows Movie Player or whatever the software you are having, this MP4 will be supported by all the software. That why, that's why by default it will be in MP4. But if you want to a yeah, MOV file or MKV file or FLV file or AVI file, it is up to you. You can select the output format. But it is better, it is, uh, uh, it is advised to go for MP4 format. Okay. And another format source of that WebM format. WebM format is a, if you go down, that file size will, will comes down. If you go to the top, the file size will be uh, larger. So this is the thing. Okay, this is the thing. AVI format. So by default, it will go for MP4 format. Okay, MP4. And the video profile, whether it is uh, this is a, a frame FPS, frame per second, HD, 720 uh, pixels or uh, 1080 uh, p. It is it is about the quality, the quality of the thing. See, we know the even 
there there will be a difference by uh, the hd tv and the uh, other tv hd ready tv or vga tvs there is a difference the pixel difference pixels means nothing but the, the dot dot dpa we call it as dpa see imagine that a, a, a one uh, square centimeter is having 100 dots if it is 100 dots there will not be a clarity if it is 1000 dots more cl clarity will be there if there is 10000 dots there uh, square centimeter more clarity 1 lakh dots even more clarity will be there quality will be there that is the thing so this is the thing and the quality we can choose low medium high also so for my purpose i am just clicking low because it depends upon the uh, quality you are selecting the file size also differs high quality will leads to high uh, file size and the low quality will lead to low file size and also the time also by exporting we need uh, maybe 10 to 15 minutes it depends upon the uh, duration of your video and quality of your video that's why i am selecting low okay <coughs> i'm selecting i just click export because the export while the export process is going on in that time we can't do anything in open shot okay we have to wait for that so export video so it is exporting 2.5%, 3%, 4%. It depends upon the quality we are choosing. If you are choosing high quality, till now we can it will reach only 1%. At present, it may go for 2%. Now 3%, 4%. Since we I have chosen uh, <coughs> low quality, it goes fast. 24%, 25% or something, it, it goes on. But thing is, uh, in some software, we need not wait. But here in this software, uh, we have to wait. Yeah, this is one. Um, um, so this is the uh, this is the way we, we can uh, export the uh, file. And uh, so the meantime, uh, there are other other options also there. You needed some options are like we are now. I cannot uh, work on it, and view help is there. Uh, and sometimes this is a transition effect. So you just imagine there are two uh, uh, images. So between uh, the appearance of uh, the end of the appearance and the start of the uh, starting of the appearance of the next image, what is the animation effect should be there? So we can just simply drag this uh, uh, transition effect and we can uh, keep in between two images. Okay, so now it is done. So now I am playing. So I just minimize. And this is the folder where I have stored. And uh, this is the demo project. And I just open with uh, maybe VLC or some other thing. It will become a single file. Okay. Previously, we have we may have so many files. Now it, it it becomes as a single single file. So it goes on like this. Issues of good. Let me take adjacent side. Okay, so this is the thing. Uh, even even in here, if you want to reduce the file size, okay, you just imagine this is the file size of uh, 
maybe uh, 15, 15.8 MB. Just imagine, <laughs> I'm just uh, exporting the same file with the high, high configuration, high quality. Okay, it may differ. It, the, the file size may be uh, may differ in uh, different aspect. Okay, so this is this is this process. Uh, we don't want to disturb. So likewise, we can uh, we can make use of this uh, 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 OBS Studio for our lectures, and even in OBS Studio, uh, we can. Uh, if between one scene, we can create scene one, scene two, scene three. In scene one, we may have a PPT, and scene two, we may have explain a Google Group, and we may use the Microsoft Word. Likewise, we can interchange also uh, in in in, uh, in OBS Studio. Here also, there are so many uh, controls or uh, what do you call this uh, in the in that setting? So many transition effects and audio, video output. Uh, this is the streaming. We can uh, uh, live stream the things. This also can be can be done, and if possible, uh, please use use go for uh, please utilize the open source software, uh, which is a uh, user friendly, because I am I am using this uh, LibreOffice for uh, for all my data analysis. Maybe uh, as a researcher, we know that uh, uh, statistics, the role of statistics in uh, um, research like mean media not only the mean median mode even go for uh, uh, regression analysis or path analysis or uh, even for uh, uh, chi square or anova titus everything can be done through this library office only thing is we have to uh, in initially we we, we we have to uh, face some learnings that's all i can i can't say that uh, struggling uh, it is a it is a kind of learning so once we learn the things uh, it will be uh, friendly okay so this is the thing. Since we are, I'm, 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 I'm using uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, high quality. Uh, it goes uh, this much of time. You can find the difference between the low quality and and the high quality. Eighty four percent. And even in images, uh, you can have a, a large number of uh, uh, fading effect or. Uh, uh, so many effects are there. You just go and explore the thing, then uh, it will be good. So finally, uh, you you have to you you take a, a a simple concept, okay? You take a simple concept, and you try to uh, uh, try to uh, shoot your own video, and you collect all the relevant uh, music or images, everything. You edit and uh, uh, you convert as a video, and this is a video. This is a video in uh, high quality, I think. I don't know where, yes. This image size, 456. The same video, but here it is 15 point something. Here it is 40. 456 MB. Okay, you, you just uh, imagine the thing. So that's why uh, if you want to reduce the file size, uh, I can recommend this software also. What you can do is you can simply import the size, which is a more uh, maybe uh, 500 MB or 600 MB. You drag the particular file in a track one and you go to uh, export and you select the low or moderate and export the same video. Once again, so the 600 MB file will becomes to 200 MB or 150 MB. That can be so. If you are going to display by mobile phone or uh, computer, it is well and good. This medium uh, quality is okay. Okay, this is the thing. And likewise, what you can do is uh, in YouTube, uh, you can upload the particular video. And uh, uh, in my website, uh, the things you have to do is. In my website, I have created a link on that. Okay, so upload your uh, e content here. So if you click on that, uh, it will, uh, yeah, I have to sign in, I think. 
So I, I'll rectify these things. If you maybe in course of time, I'll rectify these things. So you have to upload your own file. That is your that is a assignment to you uh, because you are you are you are you are going to given two or three days. Uh, in those days, you have to work on it. You have to select a, a particular uh, a simple topic, maybe a photosynthesis or a, a transistor effect or a, a thermodynamic. Yeah, 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 small content, a small concept. And you explain the thing and you collect all the relevant uh, images or video supporting uh, uh, files and you edit the thing and you, you can uh, finally export the file and uh, you uh, upload in the uh, in my website okay so this is what we are we are expecting from your side okay so um, any anything any any anything to be clarified Faculty members, do you have any qu queries? Yeah, so uh, uh, online free source compressor. Uh, we have the, the free compressors also. You can go for uh, uh, reduce the video size open source like that. You can upload and you can download the compressor thing. And this open shot also a compressor like thing. We can uh, compress these things also. And first you can go for zip and then uh, you can go for compress things. If it is zip is okay, then you need not worry that uh, uh, compressor. And uh, uh, even in Audacity, uh, uh, audio recording alone, what software can be used? In Audacity, it can be done. See, uh, see Audacity, you know that uh, it is there or not? Yeah, uh, it is there. So I, I just, uh, uh, new thing, okay. I just place the, this record button and I'm going to talk now. So whatever I am talking, it will be recorded. Okay, I stop and I can play. And I'm going to talk now. So whatever I am talking, it will be recorded. Okay, this, this audio recording alone can be done. And I'm going to talk now. Audacity. So whatever I am talking, it will be recorded. So file and you go for export as MP3 file or WAV file or MP3 file. You can export the particular file. Okay, so this can be done. Okay, so uh, this is the thing uh, that uh, uh, we can make use of this Audacity as well as uh, OBS Studio and uh, uh, this uh, open, shot, uh, um, open source software. So whatever I am discussing is open source like uh, open shot or LibreOffice or whatever the thing, these are all the open source softwares. So if anything, any clarification is there, you are, you are most welcome, please. Okay. Sir, as we upload the uh... Files. Do you have any restriction on the size so that the faculty members will? No, at present time I'm, I'm I do not have the restriction because if it is 300 less than 300 MB, it will be better for downloading and displaying for evaluating or other purpose. If it is less than 300 MB, it will be better. But uh, I'm having unlimited space in my domain, so that uh, I, I didn't have any restriction on that. Okay. Any more queries from the participants? So I don't know whether I have, I have fulfilled your needs, but uh, I, I hope that uh, I can give a simple uh, yeah, 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 minimum thing and you can develop in future. How to change the background? Yeah, background of a? Yes, sir. Yeah, background of a video. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so this kind of uh, open source software, it is not possible uh, changing the background alone. But in, in there are some uh, proprietary softwares like paid softwares or there, there we can change the uh, uh, background. But here uh, in, in this kind of open source software, it is not possible now. And the thing is, we can keep a background and within that background, we can uh, place our own uh, uh, videos. We cannot totally change the background in this kind of open source software. And if, if you want to have a blurring effect, you can go for Google Meet. Okay. If, if you don't want any uh, blurring effect, the, the, like uh, Zoom also in Google Meet, there is a blurring effect. That if you go for a blur, the background will be a blurring mode, out of focus. That can be done. done. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Please, sir. Suppose if I create an uh, e-content, yeah, it 
பிக்சர் வந்து கண்டிப்பா அதுல இருக்கணுமா இல்ல ஒன்லி என்னோட ஆடியோ மட்டும் இருந்தா போதுமா வீடியோ ஆடியோ ரெண்டுமே இருக்கணுமா சார் ஐ கேன் ஐ கேன் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் ஏ திங் லைக் ஒரு ஹார்ட்டை பத்தி நான் கிளாஸ் எடுக்க போறேன்னு வச்சுக்கோங்களேன் ரெண்டு மூணு ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ல நான் சொல்லலாம் ஒண்ணு வந்து ஹார்ட்டை பத்தி கிளாஸ்ல நான் இமேஜினரியா நான் சொல்லலாம் ஒன்னு ஒண்ணு இன்னொன்னு வந்து ஒரு இமேஜ காமிச்சு நான் சொல்லலாம் இன்னொன்னு என்ன செய்யலாம் அப்படின்னு சொன்னா ஒரு வீடியோவை பிளே பண்ணி நான் உனக்கு ஒரு ஹார்ட்டை பத்தி எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பண்ணலாம் இன்னொன்னு என்ன பண்ணலாம் லைவா ஒரு அப்ரேசர் தியேட்டர்ல போய் ஹார்ட்டை ஓபன் பண்ணி எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பண்ணலாம் ஐ ஹோப் நீங்க புரிஞ்சிருப்பீங்கன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் ஒவ்வொன்றுக்கும் வித்தியாசம் இருக்கு இமேஜ்ல இமேஜ் ஒன்லி இமேஜினரியா சொன்னோம்னா அதோடைய அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் லெவல் என்னன்றது உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் ஒரு பிக்சரை காமிச்சோம்னா அதனுடைய லெவலும் உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் அதாவது ஒரு வீடியோவை காமிச்சோம்னா அதனுடைய லெவலும் தெரியும் தெரிஞ்ச ஹையர் ஆர்கி அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் பண்றதுல ஸோ அதனால ஆடியோ வீடியோ எல்லாமே இருந்தது மோர் இமேஜஸ் இருந்தது அப்படின்னா இட் இஸ் வெல் அண்ட் குட் ஸோ ஆடியோ மட்டும் ஏ போதும் அப்படின்னு நம்ம சொல்ல முடியாது அடிஷனலா நம்ம அவனுக்கு இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் கொடுக்க கொடுக்க அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் லெவல் இன்க்ரீஸ் ஆகும் தட்ஸ் ஆல் Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I have only one doubt to clarify. Yeah, you are Suppose welcome. Suppose I am showing an animation. Doubt. Yes, sir. Suppose I am showing an animation while I am making yeah. my video. At yes, one sir. particular point, the animation should be passed. Yeah. By that time, I will explain about the past video. Yeah. Past animation. So, okay. how can I, I, how can I do that? I wanted to pass the video at one point and I will explain about that particular image yeah. you, you, in the board see, and... Uh, so this can be done in so many ways okay this can be done in so many ways what yes. my uh, this is my way of uh, uh, dealing the problems uh, you can play the, the video and when the uh, at the end of the video where you want to pass you just pass the video and you put a screenshot okay you put a screenshot and it will be stored as a image you can keep the image uh, uh, next to the video and you prolong the uh, image when uh, the duration whether if it is 2 minutes or 4 minutes how long you want you can uh, prolong the image lengthen the image so i can go with uh, this uh, open shot see this is the video you just imagine this is going on i am just putting the screenshot and uh, this is the place where uh, i would like to uh, pause in once again uh, uh, this is a maybe uh, this is the image okay just imagine this is the video but in this video at this juncture i want to a pause okay i am just saving the file save us uh, in the desktop maybe untitled or test or i can give pause file name jpeg and okay uh say okay and uh, so i'm going to this open shot and i'm just to import the file this is the end of the video just imagine this is the end of the video okay uh there i put my file i don't know here okay um this is the video the end of the video i'm just this is a image now so whenever na evlo neram pesan nenikirano avlo neram indha image ninga lengthen pannikalam ninga pesra ella aram neram pesa poringa aram neram indha image vande pass le irukum idu or idu or aspect ipdi pannalam are are clear sir yes sir yes i'm clear it's done sir Right. What about the that. split? Yeah, split. I think I have already. Uh, yeah, you have explained, sir. Can we use yeah. that particular split uh, in between? If I wanted to pass it in between, yeah, it can be done also. Pass. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. After creating the e-content, uh, who decide my e-content is better or uh, okay? Any, uh, any uh, see um, um so uh, in the um some experts are there you can you content developers experts are there uh, maybe in the uh, ece website uh, um, uh, you can uh, you can uh, find out the experts list e content experts and their mail ids are also available there in that uh, uh, website um in the ece website 
you can send the e content to that people and you can interact with them uh, sir i have uploaded your i have sent you my e content to your uh, mail id or something and kindly go through that and give your comments like we can ask generally they will they will uh, uh, give their comments no issue but otherwise you, you can we can uh, share with our colleagues and uh, we can uh, uh, get their opinion about the, our our own e content no problem sir Uh, and if there is no any other question uh, okay. so may, may i add a word sir like uh, yeah yeah welcome ma'am sure welcome so uh, since they have not seen much of demos of uh, slo tested is a flash two oh, demos okay. and i think that's why they have little bit of queries and uh, we have put it clear that uh, the visuals of the faculty members will be seen only for the initial part and the final part and in between whatever content we are talking about it's going to be represented either in terms of images or videos so we urge the faculty members to collect as many visuals as possible to be incorporated so that the slos will come perfectly as uh, as we expect and uh, the guidelines for the for the your creative commons uh, images and the video as you download also please see to that it is already been posted in the chat council list and also tomorrow session also will focus on this creative commons and uh, what all the multimedia effects can be uh, accessed openly or freely uh, this will be discussed by tomorrow session shall we formally complete sir yeah ma'am please ma'am thank you very much sir for a very informative training session on e content development and production so we were able to understand the, the work we need to do and uh, we also we are able to decipher how teachers are becoming facilitators and the role of students construct their own learning and so we are very deeply indebted to you for sharing your enormous knowledge with us please accept our sincere appreciation for your very outstanding presentation you have made this morning and for sharing all your knowledge and expertise on e content production so we are very much impressed with your presentation and uh, we are very grateful to you for teaching us the nuances in e content production and uh, so this was a very informative session and uh, we have gained enormously through your uh, hands on demo um, and the many demonstrations which you were able to give you know as examples of how we should proceed with our production thank you very much uh, sir for sharing your valuable time and experiences and your knowledge with us and you have led us into a very new world of uh, production and uh, probably we need to try um, uh, and go home and uh, um, prepare you know as to whatever you have taught us today and uh, we were richly benefited by your resourceful lecture and all your demonstrations and thank you for uh, initiating in us a new kind of an experience in the domain of e content production and uh, uh, thank you once again Uh, now i request dr shobhana dean of arts to place her observation and also dr violet dayaparin dean of sciences uh, to give a few instructions before we part for today thank you very much good afternoon everyone so you just listened that mr pandey sir you just listened to a representative feedback on your session from dr shanti Mr. Mukta Pandey, sir, on behalf of uh, the staff, the management, and the principal, we place on record a profuse thanks. You are yet another ambassador of practical wisdom to fix the catch-22 situation. All of us witnessed over three hours, sir's meticulous and patient efforts, step by step, in laying the road. to the understanding 
of the development of e-content lesson, which if I had not attended the session would have looked like moon landing for me. <clears throat> but he helped us step on to various virtual sites and platforms that are available, number one, free, so that the genuinity of those applications won't be doubted. So, stirred out from all of us the skills and values that are already there but lying dormant. Francis Bacon says that reading maketh an exact and a full man. But Sir affirmed it today that E classes maketh an exact teacher, a teacher who is well prepared and planned, well ahead of time of the class and whose presentation is well organized, what more do we, do we expect of a teacher? Sir, as an educationist, was in fact addressing all along to that ability in all of us to be exact teachers, effective teachers, and complete teachers as a, a typical educationist, as a typical ELJ expert. Dear sir, <laughs> We are able to see a glow of light, but it's there at the end of the tunnel. So you made us realize that only we have to either walk towards the glow of light or we have to pick up the food from the table. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, participants, uh, for attending this very productive, informative session. Thank you so much, sir, on behalf of all Thank of you. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for uh, giving me an opportunity to interact with you people. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your uh, wonderful presentation and very informative uh, presentation of uh, how to make use of all the uh, open source softwares for making e content. Uh, the time that they have spent is really worthy. The time that they have spent uh, really made useful. Uh, yeah, so they have learned so many new things, the new knowledge and the new skills that they have developed will be really useful for our teaching profession. In order to be more productive and meet the academic needs of our students, I request our faculty members to follow certain instructions. So the teaching profession that they have taken uh, will be more useful, productive only when we uh, make use of all the opportunities. So, dear staff members, uh, kindly follow the instructions. Uh, let us select a specific subject that you are teaching based on your desire and select a specific unit and a subunit and identify the exact topic that you are going to make an e content. So, these are the basic things that we need to do. So today, I think uh, some of you have started working on this. So those who have not yet started, please do it today on this. We have sufficient time, 30th and 31st. On first, we have to upload the content. So select specific subject, the unit, subunit, and the topic, and prepare your action script without any grammatical mistake. And collect all the supporting documents, files, like audio files, video files, images, PPT, animation, and whatever uh, additional effect, sound effect that we need to uh, give for our e-document. Make uh, everything ready. And uh, the duration of your document that should be noted down. So after preparing all these things, uh, tomorrow we'll be having a lecture by uh, Mr. P. Edward Bokhiraj. Uh, so he will throw light on multimedia for internet preparation. So from tomorrow onwards, we have to put together and we have to connect all the files sequentially and the whole content to be neat and it should be very useful for our academic uh, part. So I request all the head of the departments uh, make sure there should not be any repetition. So in order to be uh, have a unique presentation by every faculty, we can also form a Google form and uh, ask our faculty members to um, register their interest of the topic so that we can have a unique presentation. 
and so that uh, uh, we can consolidate all our need document for our um, NAC uh, preparation. So these are the important uh, information we need to know. And after that, uh, first we have to upload the document. So after submitting to uh, the official people, we must uh, be able to share the document to the degree of academics. So please be prepared. Suppose if you need any support, uh, people will be available on 31st from the area of academics. And we can also invite people from uh, other departments so that uh, uh, whatever need that can be, um, you know, uh, we can meet the needs and uh, we can uh, be uh, ready for the presentation on 2nd November. So thank you very much for your cooperation and support throughout the program. So tomorrow I will join uh, by 10.15, so, so that uh, we can make use of the time effectively, and uh, that's going to be the final day for our workshop. Thank you very much for your presence and participation. Thank you. So thank you very much, sir. We are signing off.